The lower respiratory tract starts at the level of C6 and comprises of the trachea, the primary bronchi, the bronchioles and alveoli, which make up the lungs, and the diaphragm. The lower respiratory tract serves the function of pulling in air from the upper respiratory tract um, and absorb the oxygen and release carbon dioxide in exchange. The trachea is located just below the larynx and it is the main airway to the lungs. It travels inferiorly into the superior mediastinum, bifurcating at the level of the sternal angle or T4 and uh, the bifurcation of the trachea is also called the carina. The trachea is held open by C-shaped cartilage rings and the free ends of these rings are supported by the trachealis muscle. The trachea and bronchi are aligned by ciliated pseudostratified columnar epithelium interspersed by goblet cells and it forms the functional mucociliary escalator which acts to trap inhaled particles and pathogens, moving them up out of the airways uh, to be swallowed and destroyed. The primary bronchi separate the air that goes to the left and right lung and um, they're also held open by cartilage. The right main bronchus is wider and shorter than the left main bronchus and it also descends more vertically. Uh, clinically this results in a higher incidence of foreign body inhalation. The main bronchi undergoes further branching, forming the secondary bronchi, which will supply each individual lobe of the lung. The secondary bronchi will then divide into tertiary bronchi, then into smaller airways called bronchioles, which do not contain cartilage or goblet cells. Bronchioles are divided into conducting, terminal, and respiratory bronchioles. Conducting bronchioles, as the name implies, uh, will transport the air and they are not involved in gas exchange. Conducting bronchioles will eventually lead to terminal bronchioles, uh, which are the most distal segment of the conducting zone. Terminal bronchioles further divide into respiratory bronchioles, which are distinguished uh, by the presence of alveoli. The conducting airways are also referred to as the anatomical dead space, as it does not participate in gas exchange. Alveoli are air sacs with thin walls and are the sites of gas exchange in the lungs. Altogether, there are around 300 million alveoli in adult lungs, providing a large surface area for adequate gas exchange. Alveoli are composed of type 1 and type 2 pneumocytes. Type 1 pneumocytes are simple squamous and are responsible for gas exchange, while type 2 pneumocytes are cuboidal and are responsible for the production of surfactant. Pulmonary surfactant is a mixture of lipids and proteins that function to reduce surface tension, thus preventing the alveoli from collapsing. Bronchi, bronchioles, and alveoli are all part of the lungs. The lungs sit on either side of the mediastinum in the pleural cavity, which is formed by the visceral and parietal pleura. The pleura is a serous membrane uh, that covers the lungs and the inside of the chest wall. The function of the pleura is to allow optimal expansion and contraction of the lungs during breathing. The pleural fluid is a, acts as a lubricant, allowing the parietal and visceral pleura to glide over each other friction-free. This fluid is produced by the pleural layers themselves. The right lung contains three lobes, a superior, middle, and inferior lobes, uh, which are divided by an oblique fissure and a horizontal fissure. The left lung, on the other hand, is slightly smaller to give space to the heart and is composed of two lobes, the inferior and superior lobes. Um, these are divided by an oblique fissure only. Each lung contains a large triangular depression on the mediastinal surface called the hilum. 
The lung hilum is where the bronchus, the pulmonary artery, and the pulmonary veins enter the lungs. The RALS acronym serves to remember the position of the pulmonary artery in relation to the main stem bronchus, and it stands for right anterior, left superior, meaning that on the right lung, the pulmonary artery is located anteriorly to the main stem bronchus, while on the left lung, the pulmonary artery is located superiorly to the main stem bronchus. Lastly, the diaphragm is the main muscle of inspiration, and it serves the purpose of lowering the thoracic floor, thus creating a negative pressure gradient, which draws air into the lungs. The diaphragm is a thin skeletal muscle that sits at the base of the chest and separates the abdomen from the thoracic cavity. The diaphragm receives motor innervation through the phrenic nerve, which contains fibers from the spinal roots C3, C4, and C5. Thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe.